All right, in this video, we're going to talk about template matching in OpenCV using Python. So we'll start off by saying what it is, why do we need it, how does it work, and jump straight into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we will see what this image here means on the right. OK, so what is template matching? The idea is it's a method to find an instance of a template in an image. So let's say we have a picture with a Tesla logo, and we're going to say, OK, we have some image. We want to find where it is. We're going to use this image here on, on the left to find out where it is on the right, and we'll see it in detail later on. So why do we need template matching? Some things that's good for is things like object detection or object tracking. And in this case, we're trying to track the Tesla logo. Maybe in some other instance, you could be trying to track all the Joshua trees here. That could be another application. So how does template matching work? There's a couple of different implementation methods. So we have first off the square difference here. So square difference, you're essentially finding um, like a window and some window that you're defined by x, y prime here. And then you find the difference between the template and your image. And you're finding the square difference. So you can imagine if you have an image and then you have your template, you'd be sliding this template along the image and then calculating the difference across that template region. And then this one here is just a normalized version. So what that means is you're dividing it by this factor here, which is the square root of the square of each term times the square of the terms in the image. So it's square of the template values times the square of the image values. And here you have the correlation here. So here you're essentially finding how strong of a match is. So um, the idea is when you have your pixel intensities that match up exactly, you'll um, amplify the signal there. So here we're looking for a maximum. So when you're finding a square difference, you're trying to minimize. My pen's acting up. So you're trying to minimize here. And then all these other cases you're trying to maximize. OK, so that's, that's the main difference between the two. So with correlation, you have this, uh, you're trying to amplify the signal in the part that matches. And then you have the normalized version where you just divide similarly to what we did for the square difference. And then here you have the coefficient, which is um, a modification of the correlation method. And here we're defining a new term here called T prime and I prime. So it looks very similar to correlation, except we're defining something new. So here T prime is going to be scaled by some value here. And it's just a, a way to kind of offset the, the difference in terms of the size, the size of the template that you're dealing with. So it's some sort of it's essentially a normalization. And then you have the norm method, which again, like the other terms, you divide by the square root of the product squared. OK, so without further ado, let's jump into a coding example. OK, so as usual, let's go ahead and import the modules that we will need for this example. So we have import cv2 as cv, and then we have import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, then import numpy as mp, and import os. So here I'm going to call my function template matching. And then we have our if name equals main here. And then inside of here, we'll call our template matching function. So inside our template matching function, what we're going to have is a root equals os dot get cwd. And then we get our image path equals os.path.join. And we'll pass in root demo images and then pass in tessa.jpg. And we have our image equals cv.amread. And we'll pass in our image path. And we're going to go ahead and read this image. And then, so we read it. We want to convert it to um, RGB. So image equals cv.cvt color. Pass an image and a cv dot color. Do bgr to rgb. Okay, so now we've converted it. So 
we want to get our template now. So our template is going to be our Tesla logo. And looking at the image that we've pre-extracted, we know that the coordinates is going to be 2680 to 2860. And then 1490 to um, 1720. Okay, so that's going to be the region that we're dealing with. And we want to get the dimensions. So we have our height and width. It's going to be Tesla logo dot shape. So that's going to be the size. And then let's go ahead and do some plotting to see what we're dealing with. So plt dot figure here. And then plt dot subplots. We're going to plot a few instances of the process and do plt dot um, show and pass in our image and then plt dot show so if i go ahead and run this we just see our image and then we could go ahead and plot our logo next so that's the image that we've been working with and then plt dot subplot one two two plt dot um, show um, show and then we'll pass in our Tesla logo. So if I go ahead and run this, we should see our logo showing. Perfect. Now, what we want to do is test out the different methods that we talked about. So I'm going to create a variable, in this case, a list of methods. And you could see the different methods if you type cv.template, um, tm for short, and we'll go through the different methods. So we have our coefficient uh, core the, with the coefficient method and then you have tn uh, c normalize you have cv dot tn i'm going to do the correlation and then cv dot tn the correlation oops the correlation normed cv dot squared difference and then cv dot Square difference norm. So those are those are our methods. We're gonna paste it. Now we're gonna have a new variable here called title. And what we're gonna do is, oops, let's see. What we're gonna do is um, define. We're gonna move this here, and we will add in the titles by doing this let's see okay let's see Okay, so here we have it. Justin, I accidentally have my um, changed it to a Chinese language, so it's typing weird. But now that I fixed it, um, here we have the titles. Um, just gonna add a plural here for titles. Just gonna add a space. Okay, so now we have the we have our titles. What we want to do is um, check out our plots for the different methods. So we're going to have a for loop for i in range uh, length our methods. And for each instance, what we want to do is get a copy of our image. So cur image equals image dot copy. And then we have our template. We're going to call this template map. And we will call our main template matching function, which is called match template conveniently and then we'll pass in our image our template which is our Tesla logo and then the methods that we will use will be the ith element and then we're gonna get the min location and the max location using the cv.min max location function and we'll pass in our template map map Okay, so now we're gonna handle the special cases. So we talked about the min and max. So we know that the square difference will be the case where we're finding the minimum. So to account for that, we're gonna have a if, uh, let's scroll up a little bit. So we have a if 
methods passing the ith element if it's cv.tm squared difference or if methods um, it's going to be cv.tm the square difference normed. If it's either of those case, we're going to say is top left equals the min location. So what we're doing here is we're finding the coordinates to draw our box around our template that we found. So otherwise, we're going to say top left equals the max location. So that will handle our two cases. Now the bottom right coordinate is just going to be uh, relative to our top left. So we have a top, top left. Uh, we need to index a zeroth because of the structure of the output. And then we have our width and then top left <coughs> is the x and i coordinates. And then you have the height. Okay, so that's our bottom right coordinate. And we're going to use a CV rectangle function to draw our rectangle. So we have our current image. And then we have our top left and our bottom right. And then the color, 255, 255, make it white. And then thickness of 10. OK, so now that we have our rectangle, we could go ahead and plot it. plt.figure and then plt.subplot. We have 1, 2, 1. And then plt.show, um, pass in our template map. And plt.title, so we know which one we are plotting. It's going to be titles and the ith element. And I'm going to go ahead and add in one more subplot, which is plt. plt I'm show of the current image, which should show our rectangle. So if I go ahead and run this, we just see our results for the different methods. And we'll talk about what each of the different methods imply. Okay, so because there's a lot of searching going on with the template, um, it takes a bit of time, especially my image is pretty big. So let's take a look at one at a time. So here we have the TM squared. So if you notice here, if you zoom in, there's a tiny black spot here, which is the minimum. And this corresponds to the location of our Tesla logo. Okay, so that's that one. And then we have here the TM core normed. So notice here that um, for this one, what we have is uh, there should be a really bright spot somewhere. Or actually, let me see. We have TM square difference normed. Okay, so this one here, if we zoom in, to the Tesla logo, you can see, can't really see anything here. But let's go ahead and look at this one. So this is our original, and then this is our second one. So the coefficient, this should be, you can see a very bright spot here. So if I zoom in, you can see a nice bright spot where the Tesla logo is. And then if I look at this figure three, you can also see a really bright spot here. And then figure four. Let's see. So something is going on with the methods. We have our titles here. Okay, so this one, I accidentally added an extra line here. So let me remove that. That's why the one of the images was not showing correctly, the titles. So if I close all and run this again, we should have the correct titles for each of the image. That's why there is the wrong uh, coefficient showing. Okay, so as we were saying, this is a squared difference normed. There's a tiny black spot here, which corresponds to minimum. Same with a squared difference here. There's a black spot here, which corresponds to minimum here. And then the correlation normed. This one here has a very bright spot. And you can see it got the Tesla logo. This one here with just pure correlation, it actually found some area here in the sky, which is incorrect. 
Okay, so even though there was a local maximum as it appears here, it was pretty weak relative to how it matched here. So correlation didn't do too good of a job. And then the TM coefficient normed, the, yeah, the coef normed. This one did a good job. It found a really nice bright spot here. And then the normal coefficient method was also able to get a bright spot. So you can see of all these methods, um, the only one that didn't work quite well is this core peer correlation. Okay, so most of the time you just got to test out the different methods and see which one works best. But hopefully you have a better understanding of template matching in this video. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.